Hi, I'm Mike from BlindsOnline.com. Uh, here today to show you how to measure uh, for an outside mounted vertical blind and panel track system. The first measurement that we'd like you to provide us with is the width measurement. And the width measurement is usually taken from the outside of the window casing to the far opposite side of the window casing. In this case, we're coming up with about 75 inches in width. Now, to that width measurement, I would like to add an additional 6 inches, which, which is going to give us a 3-inch overlap on each side of the window casing. And the reason for that overlap is to prevent um, large side gaps. Uh, what will happen is because the blinds sit away from the window frame, you'll have uh, a view through on each side if you do not have that overlap. Now, one important thing to note is that a lot of folks do not have such beautiful window casings around their windows. If you do not have a window casing or molding around the window frame, then we're going to ask you to provide us with the inside width measurement of the door. In this case, we're coming up with about 68 inches. And to that width measurement, I'm going to ask you to provide us with an additional 10 inches of width. So you're going to order, so that'll give you about a 5 inch overlap past the opening on each side. The next measurement that we would like you to provide us with is the height measurement. The height measurement is typically taken from the floor up to the top of the window casing or molding. In this case, we're coming up with about 81 inches. Okay, and to that measurement, we're going to add an additional two inches. Okay, that'll bring our measurement up to 83. The two inches is for the mounting bracket that's get going to get mounted on the wall. Okay, all vertical blind heights are taken from the top of the headrail to the bottom of the louver. It's very important to note that you are not providing us with the size of the louver or the vane. Height measurements in vertical blinds are taken from the top of the headrail or the track to the bottom of the vane. It's very important. That's why we ask you for the height from the top of the window casing to the floor plus an additional two inches. Once your blinds come in and you're ready for installation, you'll have to position them in such a way so that they don't rub on the floor. So you'll be mounting your bracket approximately two and three quarter inches from the window casing to the top of the bracket. That will give you a three quarter inch space on the bottom between the louver and the floor. One of the required fields that we will ask you when you're checking out is how you would like your vertical blinds or your panel tracks to stack. We'd like to know if you want them to stack left, stack right, or split in the center. Well, what that means is when you're facing your door from the inside, you'd always want your blinds or shades to stack the way the door slides. Okay? In this case, the door opens from left to right. So we'd like our blinds to stack to the right. Okay? In this case, we would order our, our vertical blinds to stack to the right. So they're out of the way of the opening when people are using the door. If the door were to open the opposite way, from right to left, we would order our blinds stacking to the left side. If you have a sliding glass door with a setup where the, where the opening panel is situated in the middle, then you would ask your vertical blinds to be split from the center, open from the center. It's always a good idea to keep the stack away from the opening. Nobody wants to walk into stacked vertical blinds with and that's all we really ask for when you're placing your vertical blind or panel track order. Mike from BlindsOnline.com.